Good morning. So today's video concerns the Northern Ireland Protocol, which is part of the Brexit deal that Johnson put in place, which wasn't a proper Brexit deal. It wasn't a proper deal. It wasn't the thing that should have happened. We should have left the European Union in full in January 2020 with no deal and then arranged a trade deal afterwards which would have been mutually beneficial but of course what he did was yes he took Great Britain out of the EU to the, to a large extent there are still some things um, that apply to the UK for a certain amount of time um, but Northern Ireland did not leave the EU in full they are trapped inside the EU single market and customs Union and our fishing waters around the UK, our 200 mile exclusive economic zone, was sacrificed and they did not get back full control of our fishing waters for our fishing industry. So now um, they've done a terrible uh, deal with the EU that sacrifices that. Um, to a joint agreement that they agree every year on how much fish that we're allowed to catch in our own waters. And we're only allowed to do that with the permission of the EU under a so-called joint agreement. So those two big areas have been sacrificed by this terrible regime that's done a bait and switch, as they always do. You never trust the Tories. If there's one thing you learn in politics, never trust the Tories. They always bait and switch. They always say they're going to do these wonderful things, which sound great. They sound conservative, but they are not conservatives. They are fake conservatives. They are sheep. Sorry, they're wolves in sheep's clothing. And what's happened over Northern Ireland over the last week or so with the rhetoric, with the messaging is exactly the same. You have Liz Truss coming out at the weekend indicating very strongly, we're going to trigger Article 16, we're going to ditch the protocol within uh, two days, one day if they don't agree with this. And then yesterday, Boris Johnson, the head honcho of his own regime, comes out and says, well, we we don't want to repeal the Northern Ireland Protocol. We want to reform it. Well, the uh, reforming uh, the Northern Ireland Protocol has got um, as much chance of happening as a snowball's chance in hell of surviving. Uh, it isn't going to happen because the EU will see this is part of the treaty, the protocols part of the treaty, which they see as a contract, which is unbreakable, unless you um, apply the whole terms, you, you trigger the article that... Um, uh, liquidates the contract as a whole. They're not going to go back and renegotiate. They're not going to reform it. You know, people have been saying this uh, to various um, EU treaties down the years. Cameron was the first. We're going to reform um, the Lisbon Treaty you know, so that we, we can renegotiate our terms of membership. It didn't happen. Uh, and, and it's happened. You know, this is just absolute nonsense that he's even suggesting that we can reform the Northern Ireland Protocol. It isn't going to happen. You've either got to repeal it completely by triggering Article 16 and coming out of it, or you stay in it. There's no alternative. It's, so he's now come out and said, after a week of messaging, uh, trying to build up hopes in people uh, who want to take back uh, Northern Ireland from the EU to get Northern Ireland out of the stranglehold uh, of the single market and the customs union and just as importantly get rid of this artificial border down the Irish Sea that his terrible deal has put in place and now he's come and scuppered it all together so um, with this all oh, reform not repeal language utterly ridiculous again another bait and switch you cannot trust the Johnson regime and of course, you know, there's no alternative in the parties in Parliament. Labour, the Lib Dems, Greens would take us back in in full. The SNP, well, they want to leave the UK and then go into the EU. 
uh, in full for Scotland, which is, is nonsense. Um, <clears throat> And in Northern Ireland itself, well, now after the storm on elections of two weeks ago, you have a totally different situation there because you've got this centrist party, the Alliance, uh, which is basically the Liberal Democrats of Northern Ireland. And they hold the balance of power now in the Northern, Northern Ireland Assembly between Unionists and Republicans. So any kind of vote that happens in the Northern Ireland Assembly uh, to repeal uh, the protocol, which they're allowed to do under the terms of the protocol every four years. They can have a vote in 2024 in Stormont to repeal it. Well, of course, who are these alliance, the Liberal Democrats of Northern Ireland, going to vote for, with? Are they going to vote with the unionists <laughs> to repeal it? Or are they going to vote with Sinn Féin? To keep it. Well, of course, they're going to vote with Sinn Féin because uh, they they say they're a non-sectarian party, OK, but they're committed to the globalist agenda and the globalist agenda wants to separate Northern Ireland from the rest of the UK, break up the UK, make us a weaker country that is not a thorn in the side of the new world order, of course, and uh, the, the plans for global government and to implement Agenda 2030, Agenda 21, climate alarmism, central bank digital currency, and all the other um, things that are coming from the, the globalist agenda. That's the wider picture, if you like. So there we go. Um, we need to repeal the Northern Ireland uh, Protocol, trigger Article 16 as soon as possible, very clear Johnson isn't going to do it. They're pretending with some people they will. They're not going to do it. You can't trust them. So please come and join us in the Heritage Party, the only party that will trigger Article 16 and repeal the Northern Ireland Protocol on day one if we have the opportunity uh, in power. Please come and join us. The link's down there. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. Uh, God bless Northern Ireland. We are rooting for you. We are registered as a political party in Northern Ireland as well. And our motto there is pro-freedom, pro-family, pro-life. God bless you all.